Hi everybody, good day to you. Welcome back. This is a Doge Ramakiss. I think it's a 2010 Ram 3500 HD. Uh, customer states there's something going on with the, like a noise in the rear end. So let's get it out of here and go for a test drive real quick and see what's going on. Wow, that's a tight squeeze. How'd they get it in here? Hey. Oh, locked. Hang on, hang on, it's early. Let me, let me wake up here. There we go. Oh, what do we got in here? 199,267 miles on the clock. All right, let's see here. Key in. Starting is a doge. Diesel. All right. Let's back this thing out and see what's going on. It's got a check engine light. That may or may not be our issue. They're here for a noise. It's apparently a very loud noise. Put that back. Love those side. Let's do the reach here. Ah. Mirror click. It did. It actually did click. Okay. Let's get out of here. I didn't hear anything yet. They said it's a loud banging type of noise. Hmm. I'm not hearing it. Oh, whoa, 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 hang on. Something's, something's clattering and clanging back there. Huh. Interesting. You guys hear that? Oh, it's back there somewhere. Let's go a little faster. Okay, yeah, something's going on back there. I, I hear something. We're not gonna take this out on the road. It's probably a bad idea. Reverse. Yeah. Ooh, it makes the sound in both directions. Okay. I don't know if it was coming from the right rear, but I do hear it from uh, the left side. Go behind the building real quick. It's gonna be super loud. Yeah, something died. All right, back to the shop. Let's get this up in the air and take a look at what's going on. Reverse. All right, I think it's in the rear end, so let's uh, start with that. I'll pull the cover off and visually inspect the internals, and then uh, if that's a dead end, we'll uh, we'll go somewhere else. Reversing mirror procedure. I see you. Driver's side rear wheel. Let's see what it does. Uh, yeah, I hear it. Whoa! What's this about? All right, wheels off time. Let's pull them off. Let's see what's going on here. see what it is yet but I do see a bunch of metal shavings 
the sparkly glitter. It's not the brake pads. It's got to be from under the rotor. Let's go ahead and pull this down more and see what uh, what happened here. Then we will make a determination of whether we have a problem just one side or if it's both sides or if it's the center. Ugh. Bearing or brakes came apart. Who knows what's going on here? We're going to find out. Got it. Right, there's one. Here, I can get the bottom one with a tool. Should have thought of that first, but I still have morning brain. I'm not fully activated yet. Okay, caliper and bracket. Hmm, oh, that's not good. Metal chunks just fell out. What is this? We're gonna save that for later, that's evidence. Here, a little bit of pry bar, that will help. Just to get it to separate. Ooh, more chunks fell out. I think something grenaded underneath of this uh, brake rotor here. Let's find a way to hang this real quick like it's not gonna work. There, there. Okay, let's see what that was. Um, looks like right here we've got some parking brake adjuster. That's a uh, destroyed. Vacuum plate's kind of damaged right here. It's actually very damaged right here. Um, let's see, here's one of the shoes that fell out. There's one of the springs. There's another spring right there. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, this is, this is really bad. Because I think they ruined their backing plate. We're going to need to replace said backing plate. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pull the axle, I'm gonna have to pull the hub. Looks like the parking brake cable survives. Let me see. Yeah, I can see that from the backside, that's okay. Let's go, uh, just for fun, take a peek at the uh, right rear and make sure that that's not doing something similar. But we're gonna need uh, everything. And we're gonna need a hub. Look at that. Huge amount of wear in that hub. I don't know if that has compromised the uh, structure of this component or not, but it makes me nervous. Let's see, this side, right rear, this one sounds pretty good. I don't think that that one blew up. Okay, so basically we're gonna need everything here. We need a, a rotor, um, we need a backing plate, we need all of the hardware that goes inside of here. We need the connector piece for the, where the cable connects to uh, the adjuster. We need the adjuster. Um, I'm going to try to locate another hub. I really don't like how this hub's got this huge groove worn into it. Um, it may have compromised the structure. It may be okay. If it were mine, I would put a hub in it. So that's what I'm going to uh, suggest that we do moving forward. So let me go uh, see if I can't get a hold of Dodge, get an exploded view of all these components here and see what I can get a hold of, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, while I wait, I grabbed another car. So uh, we're gonna switch gears a little bit and uh, check out this Mercury. This is a uh, Mercury Grand Marquis. I think it's a 2007. Uh, customer states it will not go anywhere in drive. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be a very short video or a very long video. Let's check our mileage real quick and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're looking at it's pixelated that's weird 174,323 miles on the odometer and now you can see it now going around to the right rear the reason i don't know if it's going to be a short video or a long one is this this is uh not equipped with four-wheel steering i uh, don't know why this is doing that but it's probably not good so uh let's go take a look let's see what's going on down here uh-oh Oh, we got some destruction. Hang on. I need to get out of here right now before I die. 
Whoa, not cool. Yeah, quite literally the, the wheel is falling off. We're looking at it for the front side right here. I see uh, quite a bit of destruction. Hang on. And you can't even make this up. The customer states that the vehicle does not move. Hope you guys can see because my, my head's not in there. Like I said, I don't want to get smashed by a falling car. But it, yeah, it looks like the axle's broken or something. Yeah, the wheel was grinding on something. You see all that grind marks on the wheel right there. There's a lot of oil. What is happening in here? Did the axle shaft itself like break? I think it actually broke. What did you do? Just for fun, I want to see if it will move. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Hmm. No, it's not going anywhere. It thinks we're going somewhere, but we're not. Let's try it forward. Yeah, no, 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 this thing's, uh, it died. Here, I'm gonna need this uh, wheel dolly. This will help. All right, let's see how this is gonna work here. We spread it out, shove it in, pick it up, take it home. Here, lock that back in. Yeah, there we go. Lift it right up. Moving on up. Never. All right, I'm gonna need to get some helpy helpers to uh, push this thing and uh, get it up in the air. You. All right, they're pushing me. It's working. We're going in. Hope this thing has brakes. All right, guys, thanks. Woohoo. Hey, it's in park. What do you know? Powering down. I tell you, when it comes in, it comes in in waves. Like this one's got a wheel falling off, and this thing over here had the uh, whole parking brake assembly become grenaded. And I think both of those were caused by a grinding noise that was neglected. Don't neglect your grinding noises. I should make that like a t-shirt or something. Moving on up. I don't think I need this thing anymore. Get that out of here. Calm out. Alright, let's uh, pull this wheel and see what treasures lie beneath. I got a feeling we're going to find some total carnage. Yeah, that was it. Yes, I do have a jack stand under the axle. Let's see what we got. Alright, I uh, I don't know what they did and how they did it, but they did it. And they did it pretty good. The wheel is falling off. Let's uh, just pull this brake caliper off of here and see. Well, let's just see. This uh, this should be fairly painless. There's just two 10 mil bolts holding this caliper on. Hmm, it's leaking brake fluid too. Unclicks. Oh! Gravity. Rotor gravity. Wow. Okay, um, well I seem to have found the problem. The uh, axle shaft is broken in half. Look at that. Yeah, that's supposed to be the axle that runs into the differential all the way inside. Look at that. Oh, that's bad. That is so bad. I mean, I've seen some things go bad before, but this is crazy. Like, look at this. They rode on it so long, the axle was rubbing on the housing, rubbing through the housing, and eventually it chopped its way, or cut its way through the axle shaft enough where it just broke off. That is incredible. The only thing that kept the wheel from falling off was the brake caliper and those two little 10 mil bolts. 
Is this bearing or like, what is this? You know, let's get all this stuff out of here. We gotta see this. Like it's got half of a doo -doo 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 -doo. it's got half of a bearing. Look at that. I can't even get it out of there. That's the cage for the wheel bearing. This has been going on for so long. Uh, here's some bearings. Yep, there's one. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah. The housing is damaged, the shaft is damaged, the caliper is damaged. It needs a whole, it needs a whole rear axle. Wow, that's impressive. Look at all this stuff in here. Look at all that. It's not supposed to be there. Yeah, look at that. Chopping right through. It takes talent. You gotta really not care for like months. Imagine the sound this thing made. And there's no oil in the differential either. It's all leaking everywhere. Yeah, the rotor's toast. Loud noises. Okay. Needs new rear axle. I got a feeling we're not gonna fix this car. I, I just, I got a feeling. But I've been surprised before by people, so let me go write it up, let them know uh, what we need, and we're gonna see what we're gonna do here. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's how this is uh, gonna go down. And this uh, the Mercury right here, we're trying to find a, uh, a replacement axle assembly. The, uh, the tube itself has been damaged, as well as the bearings, the axle shaft, uh, everything else. This whole thing is, uh, has suffered some damage here. So we're attempting to locate a, uh, a used unit, and uh, then we can just change the axle assembly in one shot and problem solved. Now, over here behind me on the Doge, that one also is going to get repaired. However, it's not gonna happen today either because uh, I think parts are three or four days out for this thing. They've got a, uh, the backing plate was somewhere far away, the hub was somewhere far away. So um, we're not gonna to get to fix this right now. However, it is gonna be fixed uh, sometime later this week, maybe early next week. So what I'm gonna do is toss the rotor back on this, put the brakes back on, put the wheel back on, and then back this thing out. Yeah, this might be the first time you guys get to see broken parts go back on. Usually we don't do that around here. Let's see, caliper, you're next. Maybe, you're stuck. Seems a little heavy. Um, no. There, there we go, got it. I didn't have much space due to the, uh, the hose right here. <clears throat> and here's gravity. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and thread these two bolts and run them down, toss the wheel back on, and then that's that. I'm noticing you noticing me. What's up, dude? The following conversation contains top secret classified information. Putting this back together, parts of which have been redacted or removed entirely. Because he told me to. Okay. Because uh, it's three to six days for parts. Redacted. Do you, do you wanna do you wanna hang this lift up for three to six days? Or I just put the wheel back on. Yeah. And redacted. No, no, this one, this one will move. Okay, yeah. That one won't move. Okay. I'm just confused. Can I go back to work now? What have you been doing? I've been lurking around your desk for like 45 minutes. Redacted. Well, I, that sounds like an excuse made on the fly. Yeah. I'm just saying that's what it sounds like. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what it sounds like. I mean, that might not be that, but it sounds like that. Uh, that's to take the axle out, then take all the internals out, and then put new internals in. It'll be about four. About four? Yeah, probably four. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Well, this 
let me look at it, man. It's, I don't know. Oh, there's my hanger. Got it. All right, guys, strategy meeting is over. This is put back together. Let me toss the wheel on this thing. We're gonna roll this thing out. Uh, there will be a part two on this because when parts show up, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down again and uh, make the repair. So that means that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this video out right now. And I'll do such things by thanking each and every one of you for watching my video. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. If you did not enjoy this video, then uh, go into my video library and uh, check something else out and find one that you will like. And then once you do, don't forget to tap that like button down below. And uh, that will conclude my shameless moment of self-promotion. So again, and as always, thank you for watching. And uh, most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of Doge. Doge redacted?